Hey there, it's me, Red Knight, and welcome back to Hey Day. And as you can see, the season is almost upon us. That's right, everybody. Valley 4 will be starting very, very soon. In exactly one day and five hours. Oh my god, I can't wait. Now, I do like the Valley. It's a brand new feature within the game that has been tweaked and adjusted and has been tweaked and adjusted and updated in the October 2019 update. Now, I'm going to cover some of those features now before the Valley starts as a little bit of a reminder. So when the Valley does start in one day and five hours, you know what you have to do. Now, one of the key features within the Valley is creating fuel. You spin the wheel on the fuel uh, and then it would then give you an amount of fuel. Now, from now on, uh, when you want to know what you need to do to actually build up that fuel bar for the respins, you don't have to go to the Valley. All you need to do now is to go to the top of your actual farm where you've got your XP bar. Click on that and there is a third panel that has been added. Clicking on that panel actually brings up a menu that will show you what fuel is needed, what tasks you've got. So it is a very nice change indeed. So I'm looking forward to actually being able to use that. It will save having to log into the valley, log back out of the valley, do my task. Oh, what was I doing? Go back in again and checking. With this feature, it's there at the touch of a button and I can see everything I need very, very quickly. Now, one of the issues in relation to the fuel was the fact that every time you completed the bar, you would have to go back into the valley, respin, then come back to the farm to continue with the task. And that's really annoying. And I mean really annoying. If you're planting crops and all of a sudden you hit that pop up wheel, you've got to go back into the valley to, like I said, spin the wheel. And if you actually went over the amount that's necessary, well, then you lost the ability to count towards the next total. That has been changed. So like you saw in Camilla's video in my one that I posted previously, it carries over. So from now on, if you do miss a respin, don't worry. You can just keep going planting those crops. Then it will be one respin, then two respins and three respins as an example, allowing you to go back, spin that wheel and then get the fuel for the task once it's completed. That is a big time saving and a wonderful change. So two cool changes. Now, the third change that actually relates to the valley is in relation to the trucks and the chicken. Now, broken down trucks are something that does happen within the game itself. And you, as a Valley member, have the opportunity to go and help that broken down truck. Now, basically, what you would do is you drive up to it, you tap on it, and then basically you could fix it. Now, you don't even have to worry about that action anymore. Now, if you are going from one location to another location, just drive past the broken truck and it is automatic, everybody. That is a wonderful thing because sometimes when you're transferring between your farms on the player ID, it wouldn't register that you'd actually activated that valley. So you'd have to refresh just to get it to load. Now we don't have to do that. From now on, you just drive past the truck and it will be automatically fixed, which is fantastic. And I do like that one. Now, there is another feature that relates to the valley, and that is the heyday chickens. Chick Norris likes to walk around the valley, but he gets very tired, as you know. He plonks himself down, and then he kind of sticks his thumb out and says, hey there, can I have a lift? And you've got the opportunity to pick him up and take him to his next journey. Okay, which is great. Now, usually you would drive up to Chick Norris, you tap on the chicken, you get your reward. And then you keep on with your journey. Now, again, you don't have to do that. All you need to do is just, ah, oh, there's a chicken on my route. Perfect. I just drive past it. As I drive past, it's collected and counting. So the broken down the trucks and the chickens, you do not need to stop anymore. It is a drive by action, which is very nice indeed. Now, the valley is starting and there are opportunities to win some wonderful prizes. Now, do remember that the prizes are going to need tokens. So choose wisely in relation to the buildings you're going to. 
Uh, at least you can see what items you've got in stock versus which ones you don't have. So make sure you do have some basic stock items based on previous valleys. This valley map is going to be very different and I do hope you like it. Now there is a main prize for the valley and the prizes so far have been very, very nice indeed. We've got a beautiful car, there's a beautiful train and also a beautiful gondola as well. Now for the next time we're going to get a brand new additional decoration to go with this one. And if you look at the screen now, you can see it. Doesn't that look gorgeous? A beautiful plane, everybody. Uh, I like this uh, kind of design range that the Heyday team is doing. We're getting transportation style decoration and it does look pretty sweet. Uh, I do like the color coding of it and the actual way it looks. I wonder after season four is over, what will season five's decoration be? Will they continue with the vehicular decoration? Maybe a bicycle or even a motorbike? You'll just have to wait and see. Now, the valley itself is good fun. I like it. My friend BR and I do subscribe to his channel, by the way, if you would like to. We often race each other around the valley using 99 fuel, see who gets the most tokens. Why not create your own little mini ideas and games? And please do tell the Heyday team. I've actually passed over a few of my own ideas and suggestive changes as well. One I actually suggested was a hunt style activity where you have to find one building on the whole map that would give a special reward or certain amount of tokens. I hope this idea is implemented and it would definitely be something that would make the valley more interesting for rewards. Now with the rewards, they do open up at different stages, as you know. You'll see that when you go into the valley, which starts very, very soon indeed. Uh, make sure you do purchase from that menu, but save enough tokens for the main decoration or other prize choices based on your level. Okay, that's me, Red, signing off. Good luck with the valley. I hope you enjoy it as much as I'm going to. I will see you next time in one of my other videos. Don't forget to subscribe to my fellow YouTubers on their channels. Also subscribe to my channel and hit the bell notifications. See you next time. Take care and have fun. Bye now.